Let's see a visual demo how we can integrate Razor Pay in Monstag. When user click on a buy button, we send product ID to the server. Here we fetch product price and send it to the Razor Pay API. Then we get order ID as response. We gonna pass that order ID to the checkout. After successful payment, Razor Pay send an payment ID, signature and order ID in response. We send them to our server to verify payment. After verifying payment, we update it in our database. So this is how the Razor Pay integration works. So without wasting time, let's get started. Let's go to the Razor Pay official site. Click on sign up button to create an account. Here I'm gonna sign up with my Google account. I'm gonna select demo account. Let's set business type will be unregistered. Name will be Cyberbull and mobile number will be some random number. Click on next. That's it. We have successfully created our Razor Pay account. In order to get real payments, you need to verify account. After that, you can switch to live mode. We are just learning, so let it be test mode. Let's go to the settings. In API keys tab, let's generate test keys. Copy both of them and save it somewhere for now. Okay, first open up a command prompt and then create a folder named Razor Pay. Then navigate into this folder. Here we create server folder and navigate into it. Then we're gonna initialize this with npm. After that, we install express.env, Razor Pay, and course packages. After installing dependencies, let's open this project in VS Code. In root directory, let's create index.js file. In this file, let's import express, course, and .env. We're gonna save express instance in app variable. Then configure environment variables. Next, we're gonna add JSON and course in middleware. After that, we will be listening to our app on port 8080. Let's save this file and create .env file in root directory. In this file, add your Razor Pay key ID and secret key. Let's save this file and create routes folder in root directory. In this folder, create payment.js file. In this file, let's import router from Express, Razor Pay SDK, and Crypto, which is a built-in module. After importing modules, we're gonna create async post request with try catch block in it. Before we move ahead, first let's export this router. In try block, create Razor Pay instance, then in options object, add amount from body and multiply it with 100. Then add currency to be INR and receipt, which is I'm creating random string with crypto module. After that, we're gonna create an order with Razor Pay instance by passing options object. If error occurred, we console.log and send response with message, else we send order in response. In catch block, if error occurred, we console.log and send response with message. We have successfully created order API. Now let's create payment verify API. We're gonna create async post request with try catch block in it, same as before. In catch block, if error occurred, we're gonna console.log and send a response with message. Let's restructure request.body to get order ID, payment ID, and signature. Combine order ID and payment ID with vertical bar and save it in a variable. Razor Pay give us a way to decrypt the payment signature. Check out documentation, you will find this particular code to decrypt the signature. The signature which we get from request of body is equal to the signature we created, then it's a valid signature. After that, we send a response with message. If it's didn't match, then we're gonna send a response with message invalid signature sent. We are done with both APIs. Let's save this file now. Let's open index.js file and here import payment routes just below the middleware. Let's use our routes. We configured our routes. Let's save this file now. Let's go back to the root folder and here we're gonna create React app named client. It's gonna take a while. So I'll be back in a second after this turn. We have successfully created React app. Let's navigate into this client folder and install Axios to call APIs. 
After installing this dependency, open this project in VS Code. Let's clean up some unwanted code and files. In index.html, add title to be Razor Pay Demo and paste this Razor Pay Checkout script. In app.js, let's import Axios and use state from React, create book state and set initial values like name to be fault in our stars, author to be John Green, image to be this URL which I found this from Google and price to be 250 rupees. I will be pasting markup one after one, write down along with me or copy it from source code. Ok, we have added markup and also added state values. Let's save this file now and add CSS styles in app.css. Save this file also and run server with npm start command. On clicking buy button, we call handle payment function which we haven't created yet. So let's create. It's gonna be a async function and try catch block in it. If error occurred, we just console.log. Let's save order API URL in a variable and next call this API and send price of book in a body. Here I'm sending price but you should never do that because user can manipulate markup. So to resolve this problem, send product ID and in server find the price of product and create Razor Pay order ID. It's just a demo so I'm sending price directly here. We're gonna console.log the response. Save this file and make sure to start backend server also by node index.js command. In browser, click on buy button and as you can see, we got Razor Pay order ID from our server. Now let's go to open checkout page. After clicking on buy button and send order ID into it, we call this function init payment and pass the data here. In options object, add your Razor Pay key ID amount, currency, product name, description, product image, Razor Pay order ID and a async handler function with try catch block in it. So what's this handler function? This function will be called after successful payment. So here we call verify API to verify this payment. We're gonna save verify API URL in a variable and call this API and send response in a body which includes order ID, payment ID and signature. Then we console.log the response. You can also add theme color here. Next, create new Razor Pay instance by passing options and save it in a variable. Then open checkout page. That's it. Save this file and test the application in browser.